live from Austin, where even though we all burned our retinas over the weekend, it's still going to be a great night. Now warm up your clapping hands, because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young! foot five now give me another foot five now how about a knee five how about e five and the other d five and then a crotch five <laughs> nope <laughs> apparently you know what crotch five all right we're doing this all right now an elbow five and another elbow five and then a titty five and then give me another five and then give me a five head A lip five. <laughs> this is why Auntie Donna are better than us. Yeah, they would never have hesitated. Kiss, we've kiss. never, we've never actually kissed we've on the lips. We've never kissed on the That's lips. Fucked up, bro. We're gonna save that one for the season finale. <laughs> All the shippers are gonna go nuts. <laughs> uh, you, you actually had kind of a beef with. Uh, I, I haven't seen the latest, latest of uh, our flag, but you're like, yeah, it seems like our flag means death is. Kind of just a Tumblr blog at this point. <sighs> We're going to get into a, a series. All right. I, I echo what Annalisa said, and I had her mic muted. But so? 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 I, I, I think Justin's point was, uh, what wouldn't mind a little piracy <laughs> in this pirate show? You ain't got enough I, pirate shit? I want some gay I shit. Love, Fuck off. <laughs> what I loved about the first season... Was that there was an interesting story that had an arc, uh -huh. and then underneath it, the exciting, Secret awesome, thing. fun thing that was a part of it was, oh, this relationship that was building, right? Uh, it's not that the relationship is bad. Mm. Not that it's not that it's not enjoyable. I enjoy mm. this this element of it. It's just missing the other. Parts of it that that made the first season something that I really really liked. Oh yes, my God. all right, I know. <laughs> I, 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 me, uh, we're we're getting the the the, the jury. It stinks, it stinks. Critic thing. <laughs> it's not that it stinks. It stinks. It's just not. It's not the first season. Is all. I agree. It's not the first season. I do think they've taken a a, a real dog leg left on it. But but so. Well, let me, don't let me be have defensive this. about it. Let me like, have this. Oh. I'm not saying like. All right. This Why do you want to take away my gay <laughs> stuff? No, Why I do you want to take away my gay no, stuff? No, I am pissed. Yeah, because <laughs> like, like, like eh, this is the same thing with 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 the Harley Quinn show. It's like the the show was not the same when it became entirely about the relationship. Mm -hmm. Because there was the fun about the show was the adventures that would happen, and you are below the surface away from. The time that that was spending when uh, you are making it all about a thing that is not that they're trying to become a cool crew. Like when it's about other things, it just takes away that surface area. It's not to say that I fucking don't think that a well-written and well-represented gay relationship is not something that should be on television. I want the best for it. In the same way that heterosexual relationships can be a part of cool plots, intricate plots, and they don't have to dominate things. Oh, you mean every plot? Just every piece of media no, for the past 2,000 years? a lot of shitty shows that involve heterosexual relationships that are overly dependent on the ins and outs of the relationship wind up burning out audiences. That happens in any kind of screenwriting, regardless of the sexual orientation. It just so happens that certain queer relationship shows suffer from it because the fan pressure is so intense. So you're saying you're not going to kiss me on the lips. We're saving it. <laughs> for All right. For All right. <laughs> for well, I guess we should for start with our first sweet. story then. Bryce. Hello. Let's find out our first story. <laughs> Where's the fucking button? Come on. <laughs> Captain Morgan goes to UT. God damn it. Great night was not the same when the relationship between Bryce and the button became more. <laughs> They're too together. together. <laughs> they took couldn't away really from connect. all the rest of what normally I loved about this show. <laughs> uh, how, how do you want to set this up? <laughs> uh, many months ago, 
Brian was invited to speak at a uh, UT class, a University of Texas class, which is his alma mater. Uh, he was nice enough to include me, and so it uh, it happened on Monday. Yes, and uh, it, it, nice enough to include. Basically, it was a conditional. Like uh, they say, the person said, "Hey, I've been following you for 15 years. Will you please talk at my class that is pretty much about podcasting?" I was like, "Of course." Can I please bring Justin? And then Justin said, sure, and totally forgot about it until yeah. uh, two days ago when I reminded him that we were obligated to go to campus. Essentially. And uh, it was about audio documentary stuff. That is the class. They were all made to listen to episode uh, two of season three of World's Greatest Con. Uh, they were all very enraptured by it, which was very flattering for both of us. But we spent an hour talking to them. And uh, it very quickly turned into Brian and Justin just doing Brian and Justin <laughs> things for all these 18 to 20 year olds at uh, UT. We, we started off fairly structured, but at some point we got to the lesson and we do believe this is an important lesson, but I remember Justin saying, here's what it boils down to, just make something yes it doesn't have to be good mm -hmm. it doesn't matter make something make garbage listen to your garbage hate your garbage figure out why it's garbage and then turn it into something good and i was like yeah like sometimes you have so much creative energy in production that you just do a side project that's crazy and i was like justin what would well uh, what's the link to that Captain Morgan project that you did that was audio only and it was just you kind of railing against celebrities cashing in for mattress money yeah. and Justin said I don't know that Wait, that's do, available do, do on this, the internet to this day I don't know exactly where it's the old jury podcast feed that I just put out because I know people who are still on that feed will listen to anything that I do and so uh, periodically I put out weird psychotic shit on that rss feed so at this point i've invested in like yeah make crazy things and it doesn't matter if it's good or bad and and justin has has given me the no and for for finding the thing that i actually that wanna want to play now all right that's <laughs> interesting the way that brian tells it because <laughs> the way that justin hears it is just brian's like captain morgan that's not Captain Morgan. <laughs> Where, where's the Captain Morgan podcast? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, Captain Morgan. We did a lot of Captain Morgan stuff, and and all of a sudden, because he's on a computer where he's looking oh, up no. stuff on YouTube, and he's just, I just see Captain Morgan going into <laughs> YouTube, and then all these ice cold opens from like experiment like, nitrate, like, like yeah. Captain Morgan spearmint nitrate, blah blah blah, and I'm like, all right, I don't know what and. To be fair, and I told you this going in, I am deferring to Brian. <laughs> so uh, uh, Brian was the first one asked. Brian is the one who has performed for college students for much of his adult life. And in, uh, in, in the trust fall, you are trusting that Brian has a point to this. And so all I know is Brian is really dialed into Captain Morgan. What, so, it, specifically under the subheading of, you know, just create something. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. So at some point, not knowing what Brian's looking for. I just say, oh, well, there's a captain because I see a key art of Captain Morgan standing on a table, a spearmint nitrate ice cold open where Captain Morgan is standing on a table and pointing a sword at Brian. And I'm like, well, there's there's a Captain Morgan. If you just want to play a Captain Morgan by, thing. By the way, this this was not the one I was looking for. The one I was looking for was the one where you yell at the sun. Yeah. Why don't you do something like explode? Like, that That was great. Though I it will is. say, that's not the clip you set me up for. I do uh, have that no, other one. Because, by no, the way, because that's we also never not got the one we played. One. <laughs> this is the one that we did play. And so, uh, so at, at this point, neither one of us knows entirely what the content is. I know that I was looking for some wacky Captain Morgan stuff. Yeah. Uh, I wanted the podcast. I was going to settle for the, why don't you explode? Cause by the way, yeah. Because part of this that we did not explain is Brian keeps talking about Captain Morgan. He's like, oh, you know, the Captain Morgan thing, the Captain Morgan thing. And so I had to explain to these children, <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, so who are underage. This is a thing where. We were up late one night. We were recording an album, and we were doing something we knew we weren't going to use. We were both drunk, 
and I was holding up a Captain Morgan bottle to my head, and I was just going like, Murray. <laughs> and then I realized, like, they don't fucking know. They have no idea what's going on. And so now <laughs> we've already dug ourselves deep enough where they're like, uh, okay. okay. Yes, we did do a thing with this. This is a character. And so now we need to play something to show that this is an actual thing and not a dumb bit that these two olds are doing. So at this point, we enter into a video that is not one that either of us uh, wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make the point that you could do something bad in order to become good. We're way off of that. <laughs> now we're just proving to them that Captain Morgan <laughs> is a real thing. At which point we hit play. Uh, Bryce, we're going to ask you to pause several times during this to explain our inner monologues. Go ahead. <laughs> Cap, I need a, I need advice. I, I don't I'm, know. I'm giving advice to kings and thieves. I, well, good because I'm. Thieves I'll, was a friend of mine. Thieves. He worked with me at Kinko's. Th wait. Back in 1801. Th wait, his name was, was Thieves. 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 Yeah. At Kinko's. He was one of 40 children. <laughs> Just gotta say, right early on. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting them with the heaters. Yeah. <laughs> right at the start. <laughs> Got my Thebes jokes in. Yep. Got my Kinko's jokes yep. in. Yep. I presume. And, and by the way, uh, Bryce, that was the energy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> But we're not going to back down, are we? Uh, the, wait, his name was, was Thebes. 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 Yeah. At Kinko's. He was one of 40 children. <laughs> How did you guys duplicate, like, if somebody wanted something replicated at Kinko's in the 19th century? Very, very simple. <laughs> Dickhead. You just <laughs> take a barrel, and you put ink on it, and you roll it over a piece of parchment. Yeah. And then you fucking kick the asshole in the face and say, give me your money. We don't make fucking copies here. And we're the King Coast Gang. <laughs> Captain Morgan, Thieves, and Jeep Chop. Pause. <laughs> oh, no. Classic Jeep Chop. For, the, for the audio time. only listeners, Jeep Chop is a I character that has... A, a what what might be a bindi, what might be just a dot in the center of his forehead. And all I can think of is the icy grip of terror that Captain Morgan was designed and practiced as a politically incorrect bit. Uh, and I'm like, oh, oh, God, please just make that spearmint nitrate trying to differentiate these these characters. Please do not make jeep chop indian and there we stand inside the university of texas media center <laughs> yeah on and, the fourth floor and, with a bunch of impressionable 18 and 19 year olds who have just <laughs> gone through brian has made them all talk about shows they either like or hate and many of them have very strong social justice <laughs> themes many of them have explained how they don't want to hear uh, uh uh the the Systems of the past echoed to them, or rich old white men talk to each other. Uh, uh, so all I can think of, it's just me. This second is taking the amount of time that I'm talking right now in my head. Please don't make Jeep Chop Indian. And Jeep Chop. Jeep Chop was my Indian pal. Pause. <laughs> It's almost like you knew where that was going to go. <laughs> Don't let it be this. <laughs> Wink. I mean, at, Jeep Chop is winking at me in the cartoon. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. Like the Captain Morgan improv had a character named Jeep Chop who was Indian. The only way this could be worse is if Captain Morgan tries to do an impression of an Indian person. We resume. Jeep Chop used to say, Oh no! It's fucked up though because he was uh, Navajo. 
<laughs> you even got that one in. You got all of them in. Actually, to be fair, you got the bingo card. Brian, Brian panicked. We ended it. it. We killed he it. Ended it. He watch. ended it on the ho. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So anyway. Oh, uh, I'm Hitler. <laughs> we're, we're available for all of your I'm Hitler, classes. Yeah, I'm Hitler uh, to the Gen Z uh, oh goodness. kids of, of UT. The, uh, in all in all seriousness, uh, they were all uh, 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 amazing, and and they were they were great to talk to. Uh, I'm sorry if you're watching. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look, it was a different time. Yeah. And it wasn't yeah. me, it was Captain Morgan. <laughs> yes. uh, no, it, it was a fantastic experience. I hope uh, we, we did receive a very nice letter and an invitation to come back. Uh, uh, but I, 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 would, I would do that once a semester, every semester for the rest of my life. Like yeah. uh, going out uh, at, in the first like, couple of days of real like, fall weather and going walking a block away from where I spent my freshman no, year. No, I saw, I saw Brian's amazing. freshman dorm. Yeah. He pointed oh. out his freshman dorm to me. Yeah. It was good. It was really great. Mm -hmm. All right. Next topic. Next topic. Practiced Eclipse. Oh, shit. We did, a, we did a practice run for the total solar eclipse coming up at Founders Day on April 8th, 2024. Uh, Brett, how was it? It was fantastic. It was the best hang I think we've done all year. Uh, Such a good time. I was surprised at how many folks that we, we got, uh, I, you know, because we wanted to keep it loosey-goosey and quiet. Uh, we, we set up the telescope, and um, I don't know that you're supposed to do it this way, but, but we set up the telescope kind of as a projector, and we were able to trace things onto a chalkboard and make notations of what things looked at at what time. Uh, the annular solar eclipse is not a total solar eclipse, but uh, but it looked amazing. Uh, there was a weird, wonderful, surreal vibe. Um, it, 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 did did you get that surrealness? Uh, because I know you had to yeah. pick up family members at the airport. Yeah, no, we watched it at my house, and it was uh, 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 my my brother was describing it as like, oh, it, the sun is out, but somebody hit the dimmer switch. <laughs> like yeah. it had it had this very surreal. Uh, 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 for escalating dusk light. Well, and, and, and the sky itself, instead of a sky blue, was, was this darker cerulean blue. And the, the part that I loved was there were still all of the harsh shadows and everything that you see during daylight. But, but weirdly, the patio lights just seemed blindingly bright for some reason. You know, the, the fairy lights that we have out there. Uh, it, was, it was great. Uh, one of my favorite parts was uh, after the, you know, the peak of the eclipse happened... Uh, there's kind of a coming back to earth moment, and I and I believe it was Nate. It, 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 was it you, Nate, that started the the skull game? Okay, good. I, I I thought I got that right. So I walk over, and people are playing skull, which for one day we all agreed was going to be the most important game on the planet yep. at last <laughs> Founders Day. And uh, we started playing. And at first, I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to play a board game. And I'm like, what? And then before I know it, we're all the way in, and you're back yeah. in this awesome bluffing matrix. And my favorite part of the day happened after I won a game with <clears throat> a very improbable strategy of just calling all the cards twice uh, the moment they were let down. Uh, uh, and, and I ended up winning. So I was like, ah, I'm, I'm out. Uh, Bryce took my spot and Bryce is coming in with his rocking his rad ass beard, mm -hmm. rocking these sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Just and, and, and by the time I come back, he's clearly like, playing boss energy bluffing. Yeah. Uh, and at some point I realized that his sunglasses in this bluffing game are mirrored. <laughs> and so while he's playing, I very quietly wait for the right moment and snap a photo of him. And then I zoom in and then I take a photo of the photo and then I send it and I see him... <laughs> I see oh, him Jesus getting Christ. notification on his watch, and he looks at his watch. He's like, what? And then he pulls out his phone, and he looks at it, and then he sees the reflection in his own sunglasses of his own cards, damn and it. he just goes, oh, God damn it. <laughs> it was <laughs> the best part of the day for me. It was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> and I needed those. I was in the sunlight. I was in the sunlight. I needed the shade. But you know what? I'm a professional player. I will play without handicaps or assists. Uh, no, it was a fantastic day, and it only has me more confident than ever about Founders Day. Founders Day. On April 8th. Because that one's full totality, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be incredible. Big time. Yeah. Big time, baby. Make mm. your plans. Yeah, that's another cool plan story accordingly. About me. And get you get, should get, you're, get, you're you're get. probably fucked up on on places to stay now. <laughs> Uh, They're all expensive. We we mm, you might have a block. Uh, we we have a we rock have space block? for uh, if you are amenable to camping, we have multiple places very close. If you if you're if you're okay with driving out here, and you're okay with camping, you, we certainly have a place for you. We okay. have multiple places for you. All right. Well, we'll get more details. As we get closer, Bryce, next up. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, oh shit! We, uh, do we want to check in on our pre-show topic of the F1? I think that might be one of the topics. Well, let's find out what the next topic is, Bryce. Let's bully Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Called it. All right. What uh, do we no, have no, here? No, in no, the no, chat? no, 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 no. What's what up? do we have here? Uh, we got some good comments. Everybody's making some good comments here on the live show. I think we're doing a good episode so far. I think people are liking it. Bryce, Bryce, is is this going to happen tonight? Are you willing to go to Vegas to watch this, uh, to create content for the show for F1? Oh, I, it would be nice. It would be cool. So you would, you would like to do it. Yeah, I would, I would, yeah. You would like to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because what when if, you go, ooh, <laughs> like sometimes that does not denote enthusiasm. <laughs> that denotes that you're a, you're my mom uh, watching me drive <laughs> when I'm 15 years old. I, just, I, 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 I'm, 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 it's expensive. It's an expensive, expensive. It's, ex- it's an expensive race. So pricey. It's it's very uh, pricey. The wait, tickets themselves uh, are uh, like uh, fifteen hundred dollars. First of all, I, I mean, yeah, for, for you're, you're not going to yeah. Uh, uh, describe what is special about this race. Uh, so, uh, so they uh, <laughs> holy shit! It's right here, it's right, right here. now. Well, no, literally, it is this weekend in Austin. That's oh. right, F one, uh, and you are going to that. Uh, no, I I don't think I am. I or. I would also like to go to that too, but uh, <laughs> uh, but no, I, I wasn't. I guess that would be that. cheaper if we yeah. just got Bryce to go to. It that would also one. be lower effort, and we're all about effort here. We are Bryce, about effort. Bryce, would you like to be our official Great Night correspondent and be a tax deductible expense as you go to Las Vegas and report live on the scene? About this F1 race. Also, please explain what's special about this race. Okay, uh, so this is this is cool. This is uh, uh, America's third F1 uh, uh, race at the moment, and it is taking place on the Las Vegas Strip. It's going by, past that new big uh, sphere that they installed. It goes down some 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 tiny streets, and then it races down the actual Las Vegas goddamn Strip. Well, and, and to be clear, we're not talking about like a a, a constructed track. We're talking about the goddamn city. Uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this, is, this is street yeah. racing. Street racing. Yeah, um, and so that that's exciting. Uh, it's a night race. Uh, there are not a lot of night races. It's a working Saturday. on some night race. It's a Saturday race. Uh, uh, which oh, is uh, one of the first times they've done that in a minute. <laughs> They're rolling on Shabbat. <laughs> They're rolling on Shabbat. Uh, so there, there's a, there's a lot. You know, it's a first. It's a first time. You know, it's a first time at a place. And I mean, you can't beat the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas. Ah. Would, would, well, first of all, I couldn't. would, would you I take the assignment if it was offered? Yeah. What kind of content would you make if you were there? He would go there and refuse to show it and play marbles. <laughs> 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 that would be so metal. Take all the money <laughs> and say, here I am at the MGM Grand. Let's play marbles. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get on hotel Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, it's... Sorry, guys, we're having technical difficulties. Uh, uh, well, I, I, you know, I, 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 I would like to walk the track. It would be cool to see what it looks like with the with the actual traffic. Uh, maybe you know, uh, uh, some live uh, reactions to see what you can do for cheap. You know, would, 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 would you do man on the street interviews with people? I'm not good at interviewing people. I'm, I'm, I'm not. But good. I mean, like, are, come you, on. Turn, are you turning uh, this yeah. down? Is this this is like a, a trip to the first F1 thing? We're try, we're looking for content. I. I'll ask some people some questions. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, uh, if available, would you be amenable to meeting up with our friends over at Ice Cream Social? Oh, hell yeah. Those guys are awesome. Okay. All right. All right. So so how much is this going to cost us? Well, tickets. I mean, if we want to talk about tickets, tickets, are, they start at 17 We're not doing tickets. What, uh, We're going to try to get you on the strip, and that's going to be 
You're going to see the boats move around. Yeah. You're going to hear it. Yeah. Uh, and It's you know, the world's watching, greatest regatta. Come on. Watching it on TV is better than watching it live anyway. Uh, yeah, because come on. Yeah, you, you're, you're there at a place and you're standing and you're talking to people. Oh, okay. So were you at Monte Carlo? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so my, when we first got the... <laughs> The Honda Odyssey. We were like, Jeep drop. We've yeah, Jeep. Did you hear about the? <laughs> I don't like that Jeep drop character. Oh, <laughs> not in the way that you think. I think he's okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry, you're, this is a bad thing. I'm into this. This is this format of content was working. So for far, me. everything sounds awesome. <laughs> no, just, yeah, but no, but you can do that at. A, a bar on the strip. Like, there's no reason why you need to be in the grandstand for that. Like, yeah, the the noise will be just as loud echoing in that canyon uh, uh, as it would be if you were in a grandstand. That's true. That's true. Uh, 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 well, I. So we need to get you to Vegas. I need to get there. And you need to be in a hotel where you can, you can gather the, at a the hovercraft. Uh, 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 gather at a, a a bar. Yeah. And do it. So here's. We have, I guess, what one week, two weeks to figure this out. I, I, I don't know when it is. When when is it? Uh, it is November sixteenth through eighteenth. So it happens in about one month from now. Oh. You want to know what? And that would be perfect because we're going to be in a little bit of a holding pattern. Oh, that's right. Because you're going to be on the road. Yeah. So it would be good to have Bryce Bryce's F one adventure. To be uh, uh, some of the content that okay, that so so, can so, get. so uh, we'll see if everybody can put together. I guess we don't have to do it tonight, but 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 over the next week, let's see if we can put up uh, an itinerary and no, a, a travel you know, budget. Here's and what everything. needs to happen tonight: Bryce Neshcom Castillo. Will Wait, you go? On, you get on your fucking knee if you're going to propose this. <laughs> will you go? To Vegas for this race. I do. Oh, hey. I do. Oh. All right, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna bully Bryce into doing Woo. this, uh, uh, and uh, you're gonna pay for the hotels. Okay. <laughs> uh, next topic. Our next topic. Suit. Oh fittings? God damn it. Oh God. Thank God this one. God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen. So we do this um, UT thing during the day. And On then Monday. at some point, Brian is like, oh, I don't know, man. Uh, uh, we got to go down to the Fairmont. I got to go down to the Fairmont. I got to meet with Keaton. Keaton has uh, these tailors for Super suits. Super secret tailors. They're secret. They travel the world and only measure people and then make suits. Uh, uh, there may or may not be business elements of this that we will leave secret. We will leave behind the curtain. There's an opportunity for the gentleman column. Let's just say, yeah, there's there's shit that's in the works that, that will reveal itself in due time. Uh, uh, but we got to go to the Fairmont. And I'm staying here, so I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'll go with you. So we go. Also, down. I'm deeply hoping that you're going to tell me that you can't do it so I have a reason to not go because I am wiped. It has yeah. been a day. Been a day. But we go. And we go out at like nine, nine. That's when oh we wow. Start. That's we're uh, old. Yeah, we're old. That's uh, that's after recording an entire run of episode two of this season of World's Greatest Con, followed by us going and doing drinking, the UT thing, and oh, then doing right, the hey. UT thing, <laughs> uh, and then drinking, yeah, and then coming back, and then me doing uh -huh. cord killers, yep, and then it's like oh. Oh, that's got to be a day. And Justin's like, hey, man, you ready? The Uber is almost here. And I'm like, ooh, here we go. And so we go back down. And down. he had a gun on you, so you couldn't say no. Oh, yeah, naturally. Yeah. And so uh, we go to the Fairmont, and uh, uh, we're having a good time. Neat Heaton. We go up to meet these guys. And they are awesome. Top notch. Like, next level. They look impeccable. They are obviously well uh, uh, studied in their pursuits. They understand how awesome it, it is to have uh, a great suit. And uh, business is discussed. And without getting too far into it, there is a decision that is made that is, for me, awesome. thrilling. 
it, to me, it was a surprise. And also, you must understand, when you are a third-generation bespoke tailor who takes their craft very seriously, you are dressed perfectly at all yeah. times because you are the model of your You're, own... You are the billboard. Wear. Yeah. Uh, cut to me and Justin wearing schlubby hoodies yep. <laughs> and ill-fitting pants. Looking like unmade beds. And uh, uh, at some point... I say the right incantation that causes the elder of the two to say the following words. You guys should get free suits. What? <laughs> uh, and we're like, uh, yes. And we're both very excited. We're like, oh, my God, we won the lottery. By the way, uh, the whole time, Andrew Heaton is just grinning like an imp. Yes. <sighs> Granted like the butcher's dog. At which point, and I'm going to guess this, you tell me whether or not I'm right. Brian hears one sentence that measures his ecstasy of getting a free, very expensive custom suit with an agony, and that is... So, uh, we're going to measure you guys. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that the first moment that it dawned on you that this I, was going to come at a cost? I only heard the word measure, <laughs> and I saw you grin ear to ear. Well, all right, all right. I don't know about that. And I was not grinning. I was reacting to you <laughs> because I started grinning when Brian, as soon as I realized that the gears were turning in Brian's head of what measuring meant, <laughs> uh, at which point we should probably take a real quick step back. Yeah. Uh, there's been a turbulent road over the last two years financially here at the yeah, company. Yeah, we've talked about we've it talked in about other it. places. Like, like yeah. basically... Uh, 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 Financial anxiety is manifested in an inability to keep food down, and I, I you got rail thin. Fucking, I got all the way down to 137 pounds, uh, which is uh, skeletal. It's yes. unhealthy. It's bad, right? Yeah. And and uh, I have as, celebrated as as that has unclenched the the balance sheet has gotten better. Yes. Uh, Brian has <laughs> yes. gotten expanded by he's, empire. He's, this is the is. most unhealthy way to do this conversation <laughs> completely. Whatever like this is just I understand because I talked to Brian enough that Brian is in this very, very interesting place for somebody that has always uh, 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 been a performer. You know what your physical shape is because you are you're, 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 you're aware you're, of what the audience is seeing. Is, yes. And so you've always had a sense of that and you've been in this very weird place over the last six months. Not weird, but, but a very strange place over the last six months where you are very happy that things are going better. You are very happy that keeping food down is not something that you have a problem with anymore. But also and yet you are in a odd place that you are Heavier than you've been in a long time. I'm very aware that I'm the fattest I've ever been. Oh Sometimes he says it like that. So, <laughs> and he has said that to me many times. Yep. And so all of a sudden, this guy, this natty man, and his uh, even nattier son is like, we're going to measure you for free uh -huh. custom suits. And Brian, this is what I, <laughs> this is what I smiled at. <laughs> Brian does this like, uh, uh, the hay boss. He has like a hay boss. Like, <laughs> like uh, whenever he wants to sell you things, he 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 gets like Doctor Strange, uh, uh, <laughs> like My hand hand, hand <laughs> gestures. And so like he's like 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 I need to tell you <laughs> that I uh, I've had some financial difficulties and I have now been able to keep food down <laughs> and. Uh, I uh, am the fattest I've ever been. <laughs> and then uh, the guy says... Uh, the guy, uh, being, being a wizard and a genius, he's like, well, we just need to get the measurements, and you can tell me how much weight you've lost, and I will know where, where to pull things in. Indeed. He then says, I mean, what are you, a, a 160 pounds? And I say... I am 182 pounds. <laughs> to which point this man goes, oh. <laughs> and now is when I realize that I am not in 
a sweet in the Fairmont. <laughs> I am watching a scene from Hellraiser. <laughs> I am watching a scene from Saw. Because what is about to happen is Brian is literally about to get tape measured in front of two of his friends and two strangers. But... For a custom fitting suit that he's going to absolutely love. <laughs> and so uh, uh, all I see is Brian, he's just like uh, standing there and they're like, oh, stand natural, stand natural. And then the order comes in. You can unclench. <laughs> <laughs> At which point I think of, uh, I don't know if any of you guys saw it, but there's a Simpson episode where Homer gets hair and becomes an executive and his assistant is Harvey Firestein and he goes to get fitted for a suit and Homer is trying to clench and, uh, and, and Har Harvey Firestein empowering him says, you relax that. And he goes, Blunk, and he goes, you hide that. <laughs> and I lived that exact moment. Mm -hmm. But there comes a moment where the guy goes, uh, uh can you tuck in your shirt? <laughs> Take off your belt. <laughs> Take off your belt and tuck in your shirt. And so Brian's just standing there like a, a, a kid, a middle schooler waiting for the bus with his shirt tucked in. Uh, and then uh, and the whole time, this motherfucker is pretending to talk to Heaton, but is watching the drama unfold out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> I can't help it! I can't help it! Because I know that what? Brian is dying. What? He is absolutely. This is this is fucking. This is shameful, right? There's nothing that Brian wants to do less in life than literally get his belly measured in front of his friends, and I can't help but watch. And and so then he's like, like oh, tuck your shirt in, and he's and he's uh, 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 measuring, and I I, I I just couldn't stop watching. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna have matching suits. Soon. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the point of that story. We are gonna have matching suits, but it's gonna be really really good, and hopefully you guys will see it really soon. But... I'll tell you what though, I know what everybody's asking at home: How's Brian gonna afford the therapy from this? And the answer is Patreon.com/slash Great Night. That's where you should go to contribute to this very show, where we are highly confessional, and we would like to send Bryce off to Vegas. Yes, uh, at Patreon.com/slash Great Night, you get bonus episodes of this program. And uh, the, pro the the bonus episodes have been really, really good. Yeah. They've been really, really good lately. There's been a lot of confessional stuff on it. There's been a lot of really, really funny stuff on it. Uh, go ahead and get it. Uh, and and uh, and also, I mean, you get half of it on the, the main feed. But I'm telling you, all the good shit we keep for the second half. Yep. The trivia we keep for the second half. Yep. Yeah. A lot of good stuff. What do you think? Should we make them shorter, the teasers? The teasers are like 20 minutes now. You know what? Just what do you think? One, Five just, minutes? Just once, let, let's do a three-minute teaser <laughs> and have the rest of it be silence uh, and then a little bit of little Spanish flea and then silence. Oh, you think we should do a version of the teaser where it's the full episode? It, it, it you, looks you, like the full you episode. You get an hour. Oh, my God. But periodically, we just dip <laughs> the audio out for an yeah, indeterminate okay. amount how, how of time. This? We give a full episode of The Bones, but every five seconds, one of us goes... Bond five. <laughs> Audio jungle. Bond five. Dot com. Oh, yeah. We watermark them. All right, hold on. <laughs> Bryce, can you record this on, on like a separate track just so we have it? Uh, yeah. Okay, everybody, uh, uh, just do whatever weird watermark sound, and we'll all go in in, in the round. Okay. Okay. I'll go. I'll go first. All right. Shutterstock. You're listening to Crunchyroll. Pond 5. Audio Jungle. Oh, Annalisa. Annalisa. <laughs> <laughs> it's Contributor Week at NPR. PBS, the voice of the people. Podcasts. You love. <laughs> no, I don't know that we love them that much. <laughs> From people you trust. <laughs> this is copyrighted. <laughs> Wham, <bump. laughs> yeah. Uh, do we need more garbage or? 
Uh, what if we did spoilers? Um, yeah. Snape kills Dumbledore. What? <laughs> Kevin gets the sticky bandits out of his house. They get arrested. Rosebud was a sled. Jesus comes back. There was a head in the box. <laughs> he was dead the whole time. It was short for hold the door. I cried when Spock died. <laughs> Jake Selly becomes a Navi. <laughs> Wilson is the name of the brand of volleyball. <laughs> That's not a spoiler. No, no, Unless spoiler. you haven't seen the movie, then you don't even know there's a volleyball. <laughs> Actually, fake spoilers. That's fake spoilers. Have, right? Okay, all right, here we go. You go, fake spoilers. The Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Tom Cruise's come in eyes wide shut is real. <laughs> Wait, bro, what? Thanks, spoil. Oh, okay. okay. How did you forget? Brett? Ray was Shinji's cloned mother. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Deep I lore. Or, yeah. <coughs> We're going to uh, play this over. We're just going to loop this <laughs> <laughs> over the bones. Clarence was an angel. Clarabelle was a cow. Tom Clancy was an angel. <laughs> the hunt for the red angel was a parable about Clarence. The good place was actually the bad place. Oh, damn it. That's a real... I, I mean, yeah. whoops. What a fake spoiler. <laughs> Tom Ryan was Ryan's Tom. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Meg Ryan was Ryan Tom's Meg. The Meg <laughs> is a Tom Ryan. If Ryan was Tom. <laughs> Meg Rye Bread ate half all the bubble wobble. The tornado was in love with Helen Hunt. <laughs> the password is eloquent. The F5 is when you finger God. <laughs> I can't compete. I'm out. I'm tapping out. Deep lore for Twister. <laughs> all right. Uh, Cow. What were we talking about? Uh, we're gonna play. All right. Stop the. Stop the. Stop the track. Yeah. We're gonna play that over <laughs> part <laughs> of, of the bones. Episode of the bones. Yeah. We're That's gonna loop that. <laughs> we're gonna loop that over. <laughs> Just that same sequence of phrases yes, for yep. almost three minutes. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Just, uh, it'll be kind of. Just slightly disruptive, yep. like, like a conversation yeah. of clones while you're trying to hear this conversation. Yeah. Anyway, subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash uh, Great Night. Hey, Bryce. Hi. Do we have a game? We do have a game. Hello, everybody. It's time for one of our favorite games. You know what you love? And it's Apologizes for. <laughs> this is a game where I've gone on the internet and. Do we uh, have the song? Apologizes for? Yeah, didn't we have the? Yeah, does it's too late for you to say sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, well, let's find out if Bryce can get that solved while we play the game in a minute. Good. Uh, I've found a bunch of headlines on Google News uh, where people have apologized for some of the things that they've done. I've taken those headlines, removed one or multiple words. You're gonna have to tell me what those missing words are. Closest, as determined by science, we'll get a point. Brett, would you like to play? <laughs> no. Would you mind keeping the score though? All right. All right. Thank you very much. All right. You know how we play. You know how we. You know how we. You know how we pray. You know how we pray. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we got to like pray. <laughs> we got to pray just to make it today. We got to pray. 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 Wyatt. J Dog. R.I.P. That's right. Uh, so, uh, Justin, we're gonna start with you on this one. Yeah. I screwed up. NYT columnist addresses viral blank tweet. Oh, man. I'm shocked I don't know this. A viral... Racial tweet. God damn it. I was going to say racist. 
but I realized all the best racists are headed to F1. Yeah. From around the world. Uh, I, I, I'll say viral. Finally, the best racists in the world will compete in Sin City. <laughs> get, your, get your tires down and your wheels ready because these racists only know one thing, the supremacy. <laughs> of speed. Of, of speed. <laughs> uh, what would be worse than, I mean, racist or racism? What's worse than racism? What's worse? <laughs> rape. Wow. I mean, wow. Viral rape tweet? <laughs> I mean, that's, oh my God. What? what? Uh, You're looking for something that they're apologizing for. We're, so pl- we're it, still playing the game over here. bad. Yeah, no, it's got to be It's not going to be like bad. viral cereal tweet. Like, like, oh, were there really two scoops of raisins? <laughs> like, 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 they're not, that's not going to get you in trouble. A vi- a, a viral- How lucky are these charms? New York column, New York Times. The New York columnist. Times columnist that is exclusively a serial-based road comic. Uh, if you'd like a part of the apology, oh, I would love it. Uh, which one are we on? I screwed up. Oh, here we go. I was insensitive. I screwed up. I should not have written that tweet. I probably should not write any tweets. Oh, terrorist, terrorist, a terrorist tweet. Uh, I think I think there was a bit of a uh, 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 bit of a. Uh, you think you think this dude. whole this whole kerfuffle there in the Middle East? I, I think there was a disturbance in the Middle East, and I think somebody used the T word. Uh, and I know that the style guide has to, like like on the New York Times they Capital revised tape. they revised the the article like five times, yeah. and they eliminated uh, the T word. Uh, so I'm gonna say he meant to go low T, and instead they went high T. Hey, Big Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got your answer here. Justin's going to say racial. Brian's going to say terrorist. We were looking for the New York Times columnist screwed up with the inflation tweet. Mm. Inflation oh, man. Who was tweet. it? I, I, Who was it? Uh, Brooks. Uh, David, David Brooks. Brooks. Yeah. David Brooks. What, what, what did he say? Uh, <laughs> My dick's so thick, it's because of inflation. Thanks, <laughs> Biden. You're so- not you're not far off. Uh, <laughs> this meal just cost me $78 at Newark Airport. This is why Americans think the economy is terrible. Ready for the chaser on that one? The community notes let us know that uh, $61 of that tab was alcohol. <laughs> in fact, it was probably I, just the whiskey in this glass right here. Uh, you I know wouldn't. what? Oh. I, I defend that this is a responsible meal. <laughs> One drink and food. Uh, yeah, so what? It's probably a good whiskey, a double good whiskey, yeah. right? It's probably a double Jameson neat. Uh, yeah. It looks like it's on ice. I wouldn't know. I've never been to an airport. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wait, huh? he had to apologize for that? Yeah, he's he's incredibly out of touch. He's incredibly out of wait. This is why Americans think the economy is terrible. It's no, clearly, it's fucking not. It's clearly a joke. Uh, Are you wait, hold on. You're legitimately mad at David Brooks for that? No, actually he is mad, but I'm seeing him hold back because he would like to go to Las Vegas and cover the <laughs> F1 race for us. <laughs> I'm not mad, but I I get it. It's out of touch. After you pay for your hotels, uh, uh, I'm going to buy you a $70 drink at the airport. It'll be Bud Light. Yep. And you have to drink all of it. You have to drink $78 worth of Bud Light to get on the flight. It'll be half of one can. Yeah. (laughs) All right. There we go. Uh, uh, Science was doing its work. It gave Brian the point on that one. Yeah. Inflation what? is kind of like a terrorism. So wait, hold on. Do you think he was being serious or do you think he was joking? I, I, uh, look, I, I've stopped really posting on Twitter because nobody could take a joke anymore. And I think he was no. joking. So you think he was joking yeah, too? Yeah. I think he was joking. Yeah, I think he was joking. Thanks, Bryce. Uh, we just won't do that one. <laughs> okay. Bryce showed the answer. That's fine. We'll skip that one. I have extras. Uh, okay, time for a second round here. Brian, we're going to start with you. Ready. Hint, the answer is not Manitobans. Uh, Atlanta Public School apologizes for initial statement on blank, blank, blank. Critical race theory. Uh, Critical race theory. Okay, Justin. Mm. Atlanta Public Schools apologizes for initial statement on blank, blank, blank. Rosh Hashanah. (laughs) (laughs) 
No, not that one. <laughs> the other one. I don't know that you get to take it Yom, back. Yom Kippur. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, initial statement on open beverage policy. Open senior lunch. <laughs> what? You know, when you were a senior, you got to leave campus. Yeah. To go to Taco Bell. No. Instead not... of getting uh, school lunch. Did no. you guys have that? No, we didn't because we only had a Dairy Queen and uh, they didn't want us to just all go to Dairy Queen. We all, yeah, we, we were able to do it and then they eventually uh, stopped it because uh, people were Hi. driving too fast to get back because it was only an hour. And all the kids would just fuck around at Taco Bell all day, uh, the entire time. And then they would just fast and the furious drag race and like hit the NOS. And some kid like wrecked and fucked himself up. And so they were uh. like, no, this dipshit ruined it. Don't blame him. So your answer <laughs> again was open senior lunch. Shoshana. 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 There we go. All right. We got your answers here. Brian said critical race theory. Justin said open senior lunch. The Atlanta schools apologized for their statement on the Israel Hamas war. Oh, Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> you were closer. <laughs> All right, let me uh, put this into the computer here. I don't know. This is going to take a long time, though. Playing both characters. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there we go. That's a point for Brian. <laughs> Another yeah. Brian. Computer is really phoning it in. It, the computer. No, 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 computer I think. I think. I think, I think uh, uh, even the computer's scared of computing that way. <laughs> 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 Considering I just went through the fucking uh, emails from We're Not Wrong, I don't blame it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, we're going to you for this one. Louisiana principal apologizes for punishing students blank, blank, blank. Raw, shush. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to fuck it up this time. Lock it in. All right. Raw, shush, Anna. Okay. Brian. Punishing students. Anna. Best friend forever. Mmm. Stankin' little ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the name of the best friend forever? It's me and my little BFF, stinking little ass. Hey, nice, stinker. <laughs> I hope nobody punishes you, uh, stinky. I'll run free forever. <laughs> okay, listen. You go rob a liquor store while I take this test. You got it. Hey, hey stick them up, you piece of shit. I'm an I'm undercover a... cop. <laughs> I'm oh. sorry. You shouldn't have tried to rob this place. I'm going to crawl through a vent. <laughs> I got stuck. Uh, 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 bullets as uh, machine gun fire. Bullets, machine gun, <laughs> up and down your side. Uh, you're you're dark. You're alone. You can't see anything. Hey, <laughs> well, I hope I don't die. I uh, uh, I haven't spoken to my mother in five years. <laughs> I hope if you can hear me right now, if there's such a thing as telepathy between a mother and a son. I hope that you know that I regret what I said. I don't think that you're a, a cunt. I think, <laughs> I think you're, you did the best you can. And sure, we're not all perfect, but I'm, I know I'm not. I'm stuck in a vent, and I can't see anything, and there's, there's machine gun fire. But no, I love you, Mom. I love you more than anything. <laughs> Is the security secure in the liquor store? Have you dealt with the rogue little one? I'm not going out like this. I'm going to see my mom again. <laughs> wriggle, 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 wriggle. <laughs> Matrix Kung Fu scene! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, the special <laughs> effects <laughs> are dazzling <laughs> me. Flip! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sidekick, roundhouse kick! Please take this maker's mark. Headbutt! Ah! <laughs> Ah, ah. You have defeated all of us terrorists of the liquor store. Go home and be uh, celebrated and not punished. Hey, know that you just got your ass kicked by stinking little ass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and number 66, Scantron A, and we're done. 
I'm back. Oh, good. How did it go? Here's a bottle of Grand Marnier. Well, thank you. Never mind nobody... the blood. Oh, well, I won't. Uh, it's uh, antiseptic uh, liquor. Is uh, I hope you get no trouble. Me either. Anyway, the principal... M-E-T-H-O-D-O-F-L-O-V-E. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Louisiana principal apologizes for punishing students blank, blank, blank. We got our answers here. Justin said, Ra Sha Shana. <laughs> Brent said, best friend forever. We were looking for it. Apologizing for punishing the students off campus dancing. Oh, oh shit. I hate to be science right about now. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't do that every round, but let's ask science anyway. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> bleep, beep, beep, bleep, beep, beep. <laughs> Pond five. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, that's another Brian poem. Hey. After three rounds, Brett, what is the score? The score is Brian is doing a bang up job with three points. Justin. That is a bang up Justin. job. Justin. Yeah. Fucking get on it, man. Hey, well, you are. Right. Come on. What? You never got a slow start in life? Never. You just you you jump out of bed. The uh, two feet on the floor every Absolutely. goddamn day, singing a song like you're some sort of Gilbert and Sullivan number. I am the very model of a modern major general. Fuck you! <laughs> I was about to say that. that was a, that was a bold God challenge that you just tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to know what? Hey, look, I'm stuck in the mud right now. Sure, get out of it. I'm. Uh, you want to know what? I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Hey Great. man, maybe consider just staying in the mud. You ever think about how comfortable it is and and how proud you are to see your friends succeed? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you and your fake bullshit. You want to know what? You want to know what? You and your fake fucking plastic bullshit. I'm tired of it, my guy. I'm fucking, I'm, oh, I'm stretching out. Oh, yawn. I'm so fucking tired of it. Because what's about to happen mm. is biblical justice. Oh, we're talking Old Testament. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We're, 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 in, we're in a <laughs> conflict. We're talking bad we're talking justice. We're talking. We're, <laughs> we're, we're talking Walker, Texas Ranger. We're talking Gnostic gospel. We're justice. talking. We're talking. <laughs> walking up to Haley Joel Osment, finding out he's got AIDS level justice here. All right. We're talking justice. Let's fucking go. There we go. There we go. There he Just is. Just trying to encourage you. <laughs> Brian, I'm encouraged. <laughs> You want to know what? Thank you for tough love. That's right. Thank you for tough love. And Brian, mm. fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you right in the nose. That's where it's going to go, by the way. Widen that stroll up because my dick's going in there <laughs> metaphorically. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I'm going to have to widen it up. <laughs> take, that, they, take that old nostril <laughs> and widen it up. Because I'm done with the foolishness. <laughs> Foolish. Let's get another question. <laughs> All right. Round four. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. On my play. dick's in your nose, this question. <laughs> I'm, I'm ingesting mayonnaise through my nose to whiten it up. Whiten it up. <laughs> whiten it up. Right, let's take another round of apologizing. Get it. Oh, hey. <laughs> I found it. All right, we're going to start with Brian on this one. Ready. Concert You know Britney aborted Justin's baby? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a real thing? Yeah. It was it was in her new memoir. They it, when they were like 18, she got pregnant. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> An abortion, Brian. That's what I just said. I was trying to stop. Yeah, it. and then he did cry me a river. Can you believe it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Jeez. Anyway, Bryce, what's the question? <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, our question was... Oh, yes, here we go. Concert promoter apologizes for using blank blank in discussion with Toledo City Council. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Brian. Concert promoter apologizes for using blank blank in discussion with Toledo City Council. Urban slang? Oh, just say N-word. <laughs> Are you going like to say N-word? it's the same idea. Urban slang. Yeah. All right. Justin, concert promoter apologizes for using blank blank in discussion with city council. 
Fuck, this one has to be good <laughs> because I promised to put my dick in Brian's nose yeah. on this one. I'm trying to wipe metaphorically. It up. Yep. Widen it. Widen it. <laughs> when I want. When I want you thinking about how <laughs> wide your nostrils gonna be, I want you to look out in the horizon, and I want you to see how wide that is, and then I want you to say, my nostril should be twice it. That's how wide your nostrils gonna have to be for my penis. I, I will do that, James Carville. <laughs> <laughs> different, kind of a different point. <laughs> I don't know if you are <laughs> pimping me for a James Carville or if you just <laughs> don't know the difference. This is a slower voice. That's more of a... I don't know. Hold on. Let me try to do that. <laughs> well, now, I'm just talking about oh, well, well, right Okay. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, who are we with here? Uh uh, Brian said urban slang Justin concert promoter apologizes for using blank blank in discussion with Toledo City Council. Oh fuck. Concert promoter gay slur. Oh, gay slur. What was the gay slur? Concert promoters. You know, the shows that a lot of ba uh, gay people go to would use a gay slur. Yeah, to describe his crowd or to to I don't know, he get he gets fired up. Concert pr promoters also do cocaine, Brian. And sometimes they say things when they, they don't really want to. So sometimes That's what cocaine does. Every little granular element of cocaine makes you say a nose. little bit more of what you don't want to say. Okay. Like maybe going on a 15-minute jag about sticking your penis up your co-host's <laughs> nose <laughs> in a southern drawl. Just as an example. Cajun style. <laughs> Rosh Hashanah. Rosh, okay. <laughs> We've got your answers here. Brian said urban slang. Justin previously said gay slur. We were looking for. Yeah. You people! Wow. Concert promoter apologizes for using you wow. people. Now, hold on. Now, this like, is I the science call of all time. Yes. Because, like, 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 uh, I, if I were science, I would need to find out the racial and sex sex uh, uh, demographics of everybody on the council to figure out what he meant by the you people. Because he may, may have meant the you people in authority. He may have meant you people of a certain religious what affiliation. Do you, what do you mean, you people? Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm busy whitening my nose. Quad. Quad. Yeah. No. There Good go. luck, I want science. you to get it like a RV parking lot. Quad. An RV parking lot. Why? Are, are they famously why? No, double why? Double why? Double why? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. But uh, it, go on. Like a trailer park, double why? <laughs> Uh, That's your, what your nostrils are gonna be. <laughs> I mean, because uh, 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 I'm gonna park my penis in it, and when I tell you, <laughs> park your penis. Oh, I'm gonna park my penis you're in your park nose. Your penis in. As soon as you widen it up, <laughs> so it will fit nice and snug. Can we make this? I want to make your nostril like a scabbard from a sword. Okay, listen. My flesh sword will fit in your nose when you widen it all up. I'm sorry, I, I because I, I'm. I'm Working with a real salami, friend. <laughs> We're talking about something that'd be hanging in an Italian butcher shop. <laughs> and your nose is so small right now, you need to widen it, my friend. <laughs> you need to get your finger up in there. We'll start with the pinky and go <laughs> counterclockwise. And then you're going to get the ring finger and then you're going to go clockwise. <laughs> and then you're going to get the middle finger and you'll just jab it up there. Not because it's widening, but because you're getting ready. And then you're going to get the point of finger and you're going to go clockwise and then counterclockwise. And it's only then, my friend, that you will put the thumb up your nose and you will give it a good jingle jangle beady bow bangle and then it will be wide enough so I might park my penis inside of it and you will know that I have won this question did my wife come back I, I think she left she said she, was, she might come back all right yeah I don't think she, I don't think she that one all right we still have your answers here we should give 
awards to the best bit of the year. <laughs> Uh, would you like to see? I think I have the clip here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Friends at uh, WTO 11. I'm always trying to do something good for you. I swear to God. Man. You people. Whoa, no, 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 you no, people. I didn't mean it that way. I meant the council. No. You may uh, there we go. That's a bar that's a Brian boy. Yeah. I will live to see another day. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna tighten my nostrils. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna let them get all skinny and slender. Oh, no. I'm barely gonna pick unless there's a disaster. I'm gonna breathe through my mouth for the rest of my days. Nose plugs and ear plugs and butt plugs. Hooray! <laughs> I'm not as good as you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a, that's manipulate. Okay, go. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you want to hear his his, his apology? Because yes. it really fucking sucks. Okay, good. <laughs> to be clear, my intention was to mean the people of Toledo in stating that my hope was to bring entertainment and something good, successful, and worthwhile in the long run to the community of Toledo through the Br Promenade Concert Series. I would never intentionally make a statement of disre disrespect to black members of this community and people of color in this community, and I am deeply unsettled in knowing that my words were received as disrespectful and discriminatory in any way. Justin, uh, yeah. armchair quarterbacking, sure. oh, what was his mistake? Because at the end of the day, he said, what? You people? Nope. He, he issued a fine apology yeah. And then vividly described a thing he would never do. Yeah. Thereby yeah, yeah, yeah. allowing them to cut out ching Everyone, chong, ding blong, ding dong. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, there. yeah. Yeah. You can't do the you can't say the yeah. thing that you did. At didn't the end do. of the day. Yeah. 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 That's a Brian point. Let's check out the scores. Brett, what's the score after four rounds? I do believe the score is four hundred. No, it is Oh, that can't be right. Four do nothing. Four, four two zero. I'm on the comeback trail. I I believe you. That's me. I believe you. Look at me. You want to know? Have I ever told you the story of the uh, tortoise and the hare? Oh my god. No, I don't, I don't know that you have. I. No. So, um. Oh my god. Are you really get <laughs> Yeah. No. I mean. You know there was a race, Brian, between the tortoise and the hare. Yeah, wait, but a tortoise is real slow. Yeah, you'd think, right? Yeah, but the hare's more like me, kind of jumping around. Fast, a bunch right? Of stuff going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, hare starts going. Yeah. Right? Probably accomplishing things. Tor tortoise, tortoise starts going. Uh, here's the thing about the hare, though. Hmm. He likes to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? He this hare squeezes that in. This hare <laughs> is fucking just. Every which way. He's fucking <laughs> rabbits. He's fucking dogs. He's fucking everything. Rocks, grass. He's fucking out there. He's fucking former first lady Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. hair is all up in everything. Yeah. You ever heard the phrase of wild hair? Yeah. You got a wild hair up you? Uh, what, it, it, that, that it was this hair, B Bill Clinton. Uh, 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 well, not no. He's out <laughs> doing his own business. Okay. This hair, he's fucking fish. <laughs> he's fucking squids. <laughs> he's fucking algae. He's down near a volcanic vent. He's seeing James Cameron <laughs> in his submarine, and this hair looks at him and he says, "You want to fuck?" And James Cameron says, "Only if it's in 4D." <laughs> Comes back to the surface, right? And he's fucking buildings. <laughs> he's fucking curbs. He's fucking cars. He's fucking mopeds, <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> Those weird things that are three wheels that that you don't need a motorcycle Spider, license yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fucking that. <laughs> he goes to a college campus. Uh oh. He's fucking hacky sacks. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking curriculums. He's fucking student loan. He fucks the whole student loan crisis. Not, not the syllabus, though. The syllabi. <laughs> it's a three-way. Okay. 
<laughs> the dean? Three people got that. Yep. He fucks the dean. <laughs> he fucks the assistant dean. Mm. He fucks the graduate assistant. He fucks the assistant to the graduate. Then he winds up going to a steel <laughs> mill. <laughs> Oh he fucks God. the smelter. <laughs> he fucks. What about the delter? He fucks the delter. And then when the delter smelter, he says helter skelter, and he fucks that too. He fucks Charlie Manson. He fucks the family. He fucks everything. It moves. You know what the fucked up thing about it is? What? The tortoise won. That was the fucked up part of that yeah. story. Yeah. Hair did too much fucking. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> yeah, uh, how? <laughs> how what? Uh, he, he, he just, no, he went uh, slow, the tortoise. Mm -hmm. But oh, I mean, okay. there was a lot. Of, I mean, if you just think about the <laughs> ground, the hair had to cover. Yeah. Not to mention, assume he fucks fast. Like, even then, that's, that's probably like at least a year <laughs> to cover all that. Because you'd have to seduce each one of those characters. Well, I mean, even if he goes as fast as possible, it's just yeah. he went to a volcanic vent. Like, I don't even know how he survived. <laughs> and he has to get married every time. <laughs> yeah, every because time, he's not going to yeah. be he's Catholic. in the eyes Yeah, of he's God. Catholic, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Bryce. Okay. <laughs> uh, two more questions here for you. Very quickly. Slow and steady beats the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fable. Yeah. Because it involves, it involves animals. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Sure. Lauren Bobart apologizes again for blank, blank, blank behavior at theater. <laughs> Inappropriate titty grab. Inappropriate titty grab. Bry. Fucking strip club. For fucking strip club. Strip club behavior at the theater? Oh, yeah. She was Think she was busting it, busting it wide open? Oh, no. She Beetle was Juice? definitely grabbing a dick and making out during Beetlejuice. I don't think they were making out. You know what? Maybe the answer is Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm going to go with that one. Showtime. To, for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice oh, behavior yeah. at oh, the yeah. theater. No, that, that was the show. She was grabbing dick and getting felt up and... What part of Beetlejuice was that? Uh, in the audience. A sex scene. Third row in. No, I know, but in the show or the movie, what part of Beetlejuice was the fucking? Uh, well, no, all I know is that when you say Beetlejuice, 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 he Michael comes. Michael Keaton shows up. Oh, he <laughs> God damn it. I stepped you on it. Step I on my line. I, I was, fucked it up. I was all excited because I, I had that teed up. All right. You want to know what? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> okay. There, there we go. We got your answers. Yay! <laughs> Justin said uh, inappropriate titty grab. Yeah. Brian said Beetlejuice thricely. We were looking for maybe overtly animated behavior at the theater. That's a Justin point. Hey! If I've ever seen one. She was dancing. She was dancing. Yeah. She also grabbed dick. She took a flash photo. She she did showed take a flash her fucking photo. titties. I don't think she showed it. The guy just, grabbed. They were groping. And Whatever. There was titties and a dick grab. He he, he reached it. in, grabbed a fistful of titties. Titty. He did not get to the sequel for a few titties more. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and he did uh, not get to the threequel. <laughs> uh, the good, the bad, and, and the, the grab on the my titty. grab on my dick. Yeah. Uh, Every which way but titty. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's really dancing. Okay, that is uh, your penultimate. Do you think that they were high as shit? Or drunk as shit. Because they were obviously kind of on one. Uh, uh, but also, it's it's Denver, right? So, vaping. And she was vaping. She was vaping. In the theater. But I don't think that you would vape weed in the theater. You'd probably vape whatever bubblegum fucking shit that she had. Well, you also don't normally grab a dick in a theater with a camera on All right, you. Number one, with no. the camera okay, on you okay. like that. But nobody knows that there's a camera on them, despite the fact that it's a blackout theater. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's a, not, it was a surveillance. Like there's a camera on us. We would never say the shit that we're saying. Yeah, I mean, like I, I, I do not blame them for the titty and dick grabbing. Like that shit happens all the time. And if it's a pitch black fucking theater and people are feeling each other, they're in a new relationship. Genitals are getting fucking grabbed. Like, like that's that 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 I don't blame them for. The the thing that is inexcusable in terms of theater etiquette is not the 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 the, the, the titty and the dick rip. It's the the picture and the hooting and hollering. 
Yeah, the flash, for the multiple flash, the multiple camera flashes aimed backwards at the other viewers is bad. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. she? She should have posted those pictures. Oh yeah, I yeah. bet they were fire. I've been like, yo, these <laughs> pictures are great. <laughs> can, can we can we legitimately file a FOIA request on those pictures? Ooh shit! <laughs> I wonder if it was official congressional <laughs> issued cell phone. Well, maybe it was probably paid for it, but yeah, right. uh, maybe. We'll find out. Bryce, do that while you're in Vegas. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll file a FOIA for Denver while I'm in that. Vegas. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, it's time for our final round. Very quickly, Brett, what's the score going to the final round? Score the last round goes four points for Brian. Yep. One point. Pointing right up to the J Dog. <laughs> That's true. one, 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 one. I That's got right. Four. It's All time right. for our five-point right. round. Five-point yeah, round? So it's still anybody's game. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Justin, because you are behind, you are going to go first. Let's go. Uh, uh, Justin. Oop, no, we did that. <laughs> Justin. You know what's funny is I'm not sure we could answer that correctly, even though it was a question you just Justin. asked us. Oregon State coach Jonathan Smith apologizes for a blank gesture made during win over Utah. Rude, rude gesture made during win over Utah, and I think he did the uh, the old Italian like bada fungal like fucking oh, Italian yeah. high sign. Okay. Hey, you meatball! Oh, take that! Oh, <laughs> huh? Hey. You fucking coming over here talking that to me? How yeah, about you got a little bit of oh, <laughs> a little bit of that, huh? Take that over there, put it on your carpet. Oh, hey, hey, you wanna you wanna come here and tell me that? I'll tell you this. Oh, <laughs> I feel like you're promoting seeds from an Italian. Oh, here we go for you. Put it in your pocket, see if it squares. Oh! I feel like. How about it? Huh? Huh? You wanna come around here being Mr. Big Juice, huh? You wanna be the cock of the walk? You wanna be the, the big Kalamazoo, huh? How about this? Oh! Like what, well, you think you're fucking Oregon State of Utah? Are we over here? Air raid offense? How about you air raid this side? Oh, buddy. Buddy pal. Come on over. Step on down. Here's the midway. I'm midway to giving you a no. I feel, I feel like you're promotion. Promotion. How about promotion. you promote this? I promote that. <laughs> oh, oh, alternate universe versions of Analyze This and Analyze That, starring Robert De Niro and Billy <laughs> Crystal. Oh, I feel like you're making the whole world heal right now because I'm no longer afraid of that gesture. What do you think, huh? <laughs> I, I head down to the middle. All right, never mind. All right. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so Justin said a rude gesture and then did that whole improv bit for a moment. <laughs> Brian. That whole thing. Oregon State coach Jonathan Smith apologizes for blank gesture made during win over Utah. I will be specific and say finger gesture. Which finger? Uh, uh, I, I'm gonna say uh, it was his index finger slicing. His oh, own a throat. cutthroat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Some people do that, but they'll mm. they'll, 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 they'll 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 do the like the the like the jagged, jagged edge. edge. Why? Kind of oh, thing. that's dumb. Yeah. That's too much work. That's yeah. too much. Well, that's if you want to milk it, right? If you want to be like like. Eh. We see throwing like, down like, 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 like you're like, trying to get the the blood off your knife. Like if you're gonna do it right, you should do it like real slow. You're like, Aah! and then you hold up the finger and you stand back, and then you pantomime being the widow of the man. You're like, oh, 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 oh you cry. and then you pantomime being the child, and you look up and you convey how will we live, and you pantomime the tears, and then you pantomime the other man who she's secretly been fucking the whole time oh. during his sad, pathetic life. I was thinking that you stay with the child and then you slowly realize the child's Batman. 
Okay. I don't have anything to follow that up. Oregon State coach Jonathan Smith apologizes <laughs> for blank gesture made during win over Utah. We got your answers here. Justin said rude. Brian yeah. said finger. Do you want me to do the whole bit again? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. uh, would you like to see the clip? Why don't, yeah. why don't I, why oh don't I show you? Wait, hold on. What, what if we just cuts back the whole improv that you just did? <laughs> 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 that would be fun. But uh, that's, that is not tonight. No, no. Here's the clip from our friends at uh, FS1. <laughs> I think he may have been saying, okay, well, milk the run. clock. No, you got to milk it. Milk yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh a milking gesture. <laughs> so he was squeezing his titties. Wait, wait, was that either he, rude he, or you a know finger what? gesture? If you actually moved all of my answers up one, <laughs> I feel like I've got a perfect game. <laughs> Because I said inappropriate titty grab on the last one, and okay. that was an actual inappropriate yep. titty grab. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then Rosh Hashanah was actually this answer. No, wait. <laughs> uh, uh, it w yeah, so it's right. We were looking for milking. Let's find out uh, who science says is the ultimate winner of the game. So you said finger, I said and I finger. said rude. Yeah. You said rude. Mm. Well, why you Just gotta be so rude? Do my fingers. Justin, I'm going to drop your answer into the Why answer hole. So Here we go. To me, I am a finger. I want to do, do, do. Oh. Oh. Just I shake that you answer. Because I just got it right. Just shake that oh, answer. Because I am the great knight. Just shake that <laughs> answer. Because I just won the game. Just shake that answer. Brian's really fucking lame. Just shake that answer. Because I won. Brett, just what did we learn answer. today? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> because you're done. Just shake you that answer. You can get a dick up your nose. First of all, we learned I got, that. I got, I got to widen it. I'm working yep. on it. Yeah. Our, yeah. our email address is greatnightpod at gmail.com. If you've got an idea for a game, please send your emails in uh, there so that uh, we might use your game here on the show. Thank you. Uh, uh, anything else? Yes, we've learned a few things, Brian. Like mm. what? First of all, we've learned that hop water is delicious. Not funny, just factual. Just, yeah. yeah that is and true. sometimes you just need to learn things to get better. Absolutely. Uh, number two, I've learned that Heaton has a posse of secret tailors. Yeah. Uh, uh, we were just as surprised as anybody else. Mm, mm. Uh, I've learned that uh, when you spend $78 at the airport, the economy wins. I don't know. Yeah. That seems yep. Bidenomics at work. Yep. Yeah. And uh, number four, I've discovered a new way of saying penis. <laughs> <laughs> Park it. God, that, that was an all timer. I'm not gonna lie, man. Uh, look, we love you guys. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. It's been a great night. So I start with my pinky at first, right? Yeah. Then my middle finger. God, I wish I remembered that whole song. <laughs> you you went in order of fingers. It yeah, should be pretty exactly. easy. Yeah. <laughs> That was a banger. You just need to put it under a beat. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater night. <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>